not like trying to beat everybody or anything. Wow. I am driving a $2 million car in the Mila Mila race. <laughs> this car drove in 1954. Oh baby, see Tesla! Welcome to the Mila Mila 2023. This is day two, and today I'm gonna to be driving, believe it or not, this SL300 by Mercedes-Benz from 1954. This is a $2 million car. It probably is worth more than that because somebody would pay more because this has been in this race many, many times. In order to enter this race, you have to have original parts, original motor, original engine, original outside. So these aren't like kit cars or cars that people have put aftermarket parts on. And the fact that we see multiple Gullwing doors open right now of these cars is pretty insane. If you're a car guy, you know that this is a big deal seeing all of these SL300s all in one place. I mean, look at this red one over here. Gorgeous, the inside of it is all red. I don't even know much about this car, but that looks like something out of the Jetsons. This was bought by a customer and they entered it without Mercedes-Benz knowledge, but they entered it into a NASCAR race way back in the day and they actually won the NASCAR race. And so now the current owner is a former board of director of Mercedes-Benz. He's super proud of his car. He loves coming here, showing it off, driving it in the race. Oh, how did you get here? I thought you weren't coming here. I wasn't going to, but I wanted to see you. Oh, okay. Is that okay. So Leslie's here. She rode with us yesterday. We were riding, if you haven't seen the video yet, we rode in the EQS SUV. But the thing that we learned about halfway through the day is that this is technically a race and you're only supposed to have two people in the car. We just threw Leslie in the back seat and she no was there idea. all day. We had no we were breaking the rules. No. We were. And obviously like this car over here, there's no back seat, so there's no way you're gonna throw her in there, but she's gonna be in a trail car today, get some amazing B-roll shots, some drone shots. She won't be flying the drone, but she's gonna be with the team we'll just say hitting that drones. Flying. No, we're not gonna say that because that would be illegal. Okay. We're on a military base to start today and it's gonna be a long day, but I think it's gonna be really fun riding in this car. It has the number 417 on it. That is from the number in 1955. That was the number that it was given. There's a guy named John Fitch that drove this car. It took fifth place, which fifth place you're like, that's pretty good, but it's not first or second or third. What makes it even more impressive is that the first place, second place, and third place was all Mercedes Benz, but it was the SLR, which is the super expensive, like 100, over $100 million car now that has much more horsepower than this. That is like a race car. That's like a hyper car where this car is like an everyday car that came off the production line, if you will. And so this took fifth place. Now the fourth place car was a Ferrari. It also wasn't a car that's meant for everyday on the road car. So that was really impressive that this car specifically did it. All right, we're gonna get in the car here. It is really starting to come down at this rain. But a um, couple things to start out. There's a gold wing door that's shut. We don't have windows, so the rain just kind of comes in. We do have windows somewhere. We can put them on if we want to. The next thing you need to know is that there's no seat belts in this car. None at all. So when we turn on these roads and we're going fast, we're going to be leaning side to side. <laughs> It'll be great. If I look off in the distance, it does look like there's sun shining through. So I don't think it's gonna be going the whole day, but we do have windows in the back to put on if we needed to. They're kind of a pain to put on and take off. So we're kind of hoping we just like leave them off. But if it does start raining too much today, then we're definitely gonna throw those on. Old steering wheel. I like the white color, no power steering in here. The top speed on the speedometer is 270 kilometers an hour. You've driven this a few times. What's the top speed that you've driven in this? Uh, I drove 200 around, 200 kilometers an hour. 200. That's Was that on this race? Uh, yeah, actually. Ooh. Do you think yeah. we'll go that fast today or no? Uh, with the weather like this, I would say no, but like, yeah. you never know. The Mila Mila race back in the day used to be a thing where you would drive this thousand miles and you would do it as fast as you can and people would be overtaking three deep, like three times passing people driving insane amounts of speed and they don't shut down the roads for this. It's basically just, you drive, you've got regular traffic, you've got people out there. Well, back after, I think it was in the late fifties, they stopped doing the race for a while because it did get a little bit dangerous and then they've restarted it. And now it's kind of, it's not necessarily, I don't even want to call it really a race. It's more like a tour of Italy, but not food related. It's like a tour of Italy with cars 
And yes, there are certain challenges that are timed throughout the day. You do need to stop at your check station so they make sure that you took the right route and that you didn't st and, th and that you didn't take shortcuts. They stagger the start of all of the vehicles. So there are three cars that can go every minute. So basically like every 20 seconds, another car is going. So right now we're in queue, we're waiting. Our number is 321. Kind of makes it nice to where people are spread out, but because there's, wait, is that a big military hot helicopter? Oh yeah. Oh, they got a flag, Italian flag. Oh, there's a guy on it. Oh. Maybe this is like their national anthem. Is this the national anthem? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know what it sounds like. You guys correct me in the comments. <laughs> we'll find out. We are moving forward. Getting in our line. These guys are hiding under the jet wing. <laughs> hiding from the rain under a military jet. That's a new one. Oh, even more. They're just hiding. They're using an umbrella in their car. This is great. Oh, 15? Okay. 836, we are up. Yep, nope. okay. They want us to go up. All right. Oh, we're good? He's waving us on. Starting line, right here. Get out to it. Go, okay. Go, that's a start. Go. We're off. Day two is on the way, on, from a military base. Got a professional driver in here. Coming in clutch. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh. How cool that we start on a military base. Look at that helicopter. They're there watching us. Oh, we're getting past already. <laughs> we got past by number 322. And now? Woo! See ya. We got past, but it was only for like 20 seconds. And now we, they took a wrong turn and we passed them. They were too busy looking at the chopper. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, there's a horn, that's right. Check this out. I've got my own horn button. Woo! <laughs> yeah, look at all the people here. <laughs> now we are behind the police. The real race begins. All of the regular people on the roads are gonna be here. And we're driving a car with no seatbelt. This is great. At least we have a roof. Oh, police escort, let's go. We are heading to San Marino, Italy. It is kind of on the top of a hill. And so we're racing up this road. And this car is handling it like a beast. Like it is so good. We're flying past all these cars. There's no seatbelt. So you just kind of go back and forth in the car which adds to the feeling of it. You can feel the heat of the engine. Leslie's waiting for us at the top of the San Marino. It's like there's castles at the top of the hills and we're just gonna fly up. <laughs> we just passed a lady that her job is to tell all the people that are in the race to go right. She's just standing in the middle of the road, totally happy like, hey guys, turn right. Like what a dangerous job. There's no way that is safe. See, with our car, we can just drive with the gold wing door open and hang out. We've got the other SLs in front of us, the red one up there, and we're just waiting, waiting to go. This place is madness right now. <laughs> Everybody's trying to fight for position here. They're just cutting us off. Like, how? I don't know how they let these other cars go. These guys are so aggressive back here. Everybody, this lady is so aggressive. This guy over here in the red car keeps cutting everybody off. This guy over here is like, I'm coming in. I don't care who anybody is. We're from Italy. We're Ferrari. Ferrari goes where Ferrari wants to go. That's exactly what they're doing. Yep. Wow, Ferrari. Give me a break. Is it always this crazy in this spot right here? It is. It is. Like the, the last two times, it was exactly the same. Exactly. It's almost like the cars are about to hit into each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're switching. I'm gonna drive. This is taking forever. We're just gonna switch out. I'm gonna try driving the car. Woo! 
a little nervous driving into San Marino, but Leslie's up ahead filming, so I'm gonna drive. Okay, I'm driving the car at first, and we're in a tunnel. This is so cool. So we're doing these time trials, and you're supposed to spend a certain amount of time before you go over the red little bumper thing. Continue, continue, oh, continue. <laughs> no, don't. Continue. We drive the competition, we are the first car. And honestly, we're not really paying attention to it. We're just gonna drive really nice. I'm trying to learn how to drive the car here. We're gonna lose the race side of it, but that's okay. Am I doing good? Yeah. Should I go so, faster? Yeah, you should, you should go a little bit faster. Okay. We're gonna drive, fa oh, the tunnel. Listen to that motor. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, we're gonna take it easy. I don't know what's around the corner. Oh. That steering wheel is no joke. I am driving a $2 million car. It takes a lot of energy to turn the steering wheel, to give it the right amount of pressure, to turn around these sharp turns. And then also the brakes, you gotta push hard. <laughs> so anyway, this is a little bit of a challenge. This isn't like driving your normal everyday car from the, the 2000s, or especially an electric car that has regenerative braking. But I'm enjoying it. It's great, a little stressful, but it's good. It feels like we're driving in castles. Some of this is so tight. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy, what is this? Woo! <laughs> Incredible. Just so good. All right, added to another thing on my bucket list that I didn't know was supposed to be on the bucket list, but pretty incredible. like the best part of this race. It's just how happy all these people get in these small towns. Some towns are really, really grateful that this race comes right through the heart of their town. I'm sure it's good for tourism, it's good for exposure for them, but also just super fun. Why not embrace it? I understand if you're in like some town where traffic's already tight, and you don't really want these cars going through at 120, 150 kilometers an hour, but if you have a small, unique town, what a great thing every year that these cars come through. And it should be pretty much a similar route to what they rode back in the day. Obviously the roads are a little different now than they used to be, but. Did you get some good shots? Oh, we got the best shots. That is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> good? Get the best shots. Oh, dude, so good. Oh my God. It was so amazing. It's like we we're driving through a castle. I cannot <laughs> believe this little town. It's so country. What? It's the country. We're in a different country right yeah, now? Oh wow. Well, I just barely started driving right there on that stretch for that shot. Really? Yeah. Oh great, we caught up to the Americans. What are they doing here? Go back to America. All right, we're coming into the time trial here. Yeah, what's up, people? Oh, I love it. I love it when there's people in the street celebrating. Job. Here we go. We got our time stamp. Hello. Oh my gosh, look at all the people. All right, we made it through the city, and now we're gonna go find lunch, I think. Yeah, it's like an official lunch stop. We're all bunched up right here. And everybody's waiting. Don't really know what's happening. I think this is our lunch stop. This girl right here is gonna give us our lunch bag, maybe. Thank you so much. So what's it? There's our bag. Is it a t-shirt we'll never use? No, it's our lunch. Our lunch! It's a piece of pizza. <laughs> it's a pizza! Of course it's a pizza! It feels so good to get out and stretch your legs and like walk around for a second. And then every time we do stop, we always have people that come up to us and are like asking questions about the car, wanting to take pictures with it. And a lot of them are really knowledgeable and know about the history of this car and they think it's amazing that they're able to see it in person. So um, yeah, a lot of people that really love this place. Somehow we found a motorcycle that is chauffeuring another Mercedes. 
on this convertible Mercedes. This is beautiful. What kind of car is that one? That's a 190SL. 190SL, okay. So it's probably somebody important, probably somebody Italian, maybe some singer, some, I don't know, somebody that gets a special treatment of their own motorcycle cop. So we are gonna follow them because, oh wow, they are on the curb. Yeah, we're gonna follow them. messing around. They're moving quick and they've got a motorcycle that's pushing everybody over on the side. He's like, move over everybody and pour a person here. This car is really fast in front of us, so <laughs> we're just talking to my Mercedes expert. We suspect that the motor inside of that car is not the original one because it shouldn't be faster than this car, correct? Yeah, not at all. Not at all. So, <laughs> and this guy is, uh, it's a bit quicker. Um, his acceleration is something else. Look at these flags. What is this? I, no, oh, drums. I heard drums for like a split second. These girls are giving us something. Is it another? Oh, that guy's so fast. Um, okay. Yes. Grazie. They're going to give us a bag, but they were taking too long. And we got to catch up to this guy because he is the bomb. I mean, they're already so far ahead. Oh, they're way up there. Okay, we're gonna make it happen. The roads are pretty clear at this point. We can't lose our escort to get us through this place. Oh, that's tight. Watch out, lady. Oh, she's running. Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. Woo, what is this beach? There's the ocean right next to us. We're just flying by this little vacation town. We gotta catch up to this guy. Okay, hey, we're you? out. Hi. We are getting some kind of special e-fuel. The sun is out, it's beautiful. I am so glad I didn't drive on that last stretch because it was madness. And we could never catch up to the uh, police. We got two cars in between us and then the police one and they were just gone. They just took off and were gone. So it's unbelievable how fast some people drive here. And uh, again, remember, we're not wearing seatbelts. So we're trying to drive fast, but keep it safe too. Came into the store to get a Fanta, Fanta, however you say it. A nice cold drink. The drinks in our car, they're, they're good. it's good water, but it's getting a little toasty at this point. It's hot. Not having AC is something else. I'm surprised the camera even still works. I don't know where we are or how much longer we have till Rome, but I'm prepared to get to Rome at like midnight or one in the morning. What is this little town? We're just cruising through. There's all these tourists and just people waving, clapping for us. Hey. You see this? All these people clapping for us and cheering. Whatever this town is, it is my favorite so far. They are so kind. So many people. Even the babies clapping. We got a guy on a microphone talking about the different cars. Red balloons everywhere. It's gorgeous. Wow, we're just driving through these castles through the church. Some guy just threw some Catholic prayers at me. I thought that was lunch earlier. Turns out that was like a light snack, a pizza snack. So we are rolling into the city where lunch is. Leslie should be here hanging out. Um, we're gonna grab something real quick and then we gotta hit the road. I just looked at the weather. Right now it is pouring rain and thunderstorms in Rome. Like not just a little bit of rain. Like you look at the radar map, it's just bright red chunks coming across Italy in our direction. Gotta love these little towns up at the top of the mountains. They're just like little castles. All these people are celebrating. The kids, and the old people, even the police. They let us do whatever we want, basically. What a driver. Just tearing it up over here. Oh, the timestamp. Here it is. 
il signore che vede la guida è quello che okay, guida grazie it's getting sweaty now that we're not moving so fast it's hot out here I guess this is our spot we have to sit here and park for maybe an hour you got it Okay, this is where we're gonna leave her for now. We've got plenty of police here. This is the break. This is the actual lunch. We thought that other one was lunch and they gave us pizza and we enjoyed it and it was nice. We stopped on the side of the road. We could have just come here. If you drove in a car just straight to Rome without doing the race, it'd be three hours. But if you go the route that we're gonna go on, typically it's about six hours. So that's about how much longer we have left. We are in Italy, so of course, We've got some, we got the meats, we got a, some sort of animal leg, lots and lots of cheese, many types of bread. We got a giant pasta over here, some sort of lasagna that it's all gone. Mmm, not sure what that is. All these kind of vegetables, a little sandwich. This bread with some beans on it. It's lasagna time. Oh yeah, grazie, that's good, I guess. It's time, it's time to get in our car and to fight the crowds to try to get to the starting line. I do think it's gonna rain and it's gonna rain pretty dang hard at some point here. I didn't see the center of this, but it's pretty. You drive, hop in. Have fun in Rome. Don't spend too much money. I'm not getting there till Just because we're driving in a $2 million car doesn't mean we can spend tons of money on purses, all right? We're not going to. The stores are closed by the time I get there. Okay, good. See you in Rome. getting closer to Rome because there's naked people statues. It is raining, officially. We do have rain. It is raining at, I don't know, at a pretty decent pace, but it's not like super intense thunderstorm, lightning storms. And so, as you can see, the windows are rolled down. And by rolled down, I mean the window is in the back seat. So if we did want to put windows on, it's a really tricky situation because we have to stop and waste time. We put the window on and then it gets really hot in here too. So I feel like because it's not windy and rainy, it's not too bad. But if it does pick up a lot and it starts blowing and it's pouring in here and we're getting soaking wet, I think we'd be in trouble. But the, the rain is kind of cold and it feels good because it is hot. <laughs> when these little towns give you treats. Lots of fun for a while, and then all of a sudden, womp womp, public street. But hey, we got spaghetti. Oh, there's some donuts in here. Just spin it. So these are some of the things that we've got as treats. This is from 
San Marino. It's like a waffle cookie with chocolate. It's a postcard. You can actually put an address on here, probably put some postage on it, and then you ship it to somebody. I am not going to ship this to anybody. I'm just gonna eat it. I'm not sure how I'm gonna cook this up before I leave tomorrow. Whew. Good news, the rain is not coming down as much anymore. Look at this, where are we? So pretty. These are the hills of Italy. It feels so good when you open up the Golden Doors. It's just like fresh air flowing in this car. If you're gonna stop somewhere, might as well stop here. I gotta say something exciting here. Well, first of all, this whole race, of course, you know it's exciting. I'm having a good time. Hi. <laughs> Waving at all the people. There's lots of people here. One thing that's exciting, and not that I'm like, oh, I want this race to be over because it's really fun and we're having a nice drive. We only have one more control station for the day. We have done one, two, three, four, five, six of them, and we have one left. Am I reading this correctly? Yeah, absolutely. One left. One left for us. So what does that mean? How much longer of our drive? We just have one more leg of the trip, basically? We have to finish this one, which will be on for another uh, one and a half hours. And then we have another one that goes on for two hours. We were on the military base. It was like 7, 8? 8, 8, 8.30 yeah. in the morning? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And it's something, it's 6.17. Wow. Some parts of the Mila Mila are more intense than others. Right now we're driving through the rain anywhere from 100 kilometers an hour to 150 kilometers an hour. And we're just passing classic cars. Some of you are going to be like, why are you driving? I don't know if I can handle driving. I would be driving a lot slower. This is an amazing experience that I'm getting right now. Remember, there's no seatbelts in this car. So uh, it adds to the intensity of driving like this. Any tiredness that I had from the 10 hours of sitting here in a car um, has kind of gone away with the adrenaline flowing right now from everything that's going on right now. We are at the pit stop number two to get some fuel again. We're not really getting that low on fuel, but they do have the fuel stops. So we're kind of trying to figure out like, do we really have to fuel up here or not? Might as well like just fill it up. But anyway, it has been amazing. This is like a totally, oh look at this guy. Whee! <laughs> just the funniest little cars while I'm in the way here. It's really expensive to be able to have a car in this race. I think, I mean, first of all, you have to have your own car. You have to be able to bring it here. And then I think the entry fee, don't quote me on this, I could be wrong is somewhere around $50,000 to be able to drive in this for the five days. That's like what you pay them. Plus, think of all your other fees you have to pay for your hotel, for your food, transportate, everything. Everything can cost a lot. If your car breaks down, all that stuff. It's not something that everybody can do, which is why I feel incredibly fortunate to be here today to be able to do this. But for all of you that want to be a part of the race but don't have the luxury of being able to spend the money or have one of these amazing cars, you can still come and enjoy the experience. And just watching him go by and seeing the spectacle, being one of those people that are clapping and waving, it's definitely a cool experience. And not only that, but you also see really fancy cars that aren't the classics. Like, look at these cars. Porsche, what's this guy? Ferrari. And then the old cars. So there's just like this really cool mixture. If you're somebody that loves cars, you love history, come out here and watch this in Italy. It's already beautiful. The food's great. What's the plan? Do we need gas? Do we need oh, fuel? I think you're fine. We're going to make it? Yeah. yeah we're gonna make it. Okay. The last checkpoint. <laughs> The last one before Rome. I mean, we have like an hour now. Carla Berlinger, quindi Francesca. Francesca impegnata, non so se parla in italiano. Francesca, dovevi venire ad aiutarmi. Berlinger. 
Kava Berlingen. Ecco un attimo, Berlingen. Hi. Thank you very much. Un attimo, un attimo solo. Carlo Berlingen, Francesca. Hi five. So when I started this video and yesterday, I said today I'm going to be driving with an F1, former F1 race driver. Turns out it's not the case. And some people would say it's a downgrade. I say it's a huge upgrade. I've been having a blast today. You're the head of sales of classic cars at Mercedes Benz. Yeah. And I've come from a sales background. He's a salesman. We just get along. It's great. We've had the best day ever. But it is confusing when we stop at places like that and everybody's like, please sign this. We want your autograph. And I know I give autographs because I'm a YouTuber, but that guy that speaks no English does not want my autograph. He wants somebody else's. So we had to explain to him, nah, he's in 320 today. We switched cars. Before. So anyway, that's the last checkpoint. We now effectively have all of our stamps. And I think it's what, 120 kilometers to Rome? It is. 120. Might be windy roads, might be highway, probably a lot of windy roads. At this point, Leslie just sent me a text and said, the way she's tracking it, she thinks we'll get in around 1 a.m. I don't know why no. she thinks it's going to be so late. I don't think so. You don't, think, don't think, think so? so. Yeah. Two hours. And then Two yeah. hours. Yeah, that sounds good to me too. So I told her, just don't wait up for us. Just go to bed. Go get some sleep. And she's like, are you sure? Because she does have a camera. She's been filming lots of pictures and stuff and videos. But I'm not sure how good the shots are going to be like if she's stationary right there in Rome and we roll in. And there's a couple guys with Mercedes Benz that are so good at cameras that are going to be there waiting for us. So last checkpoint. It's exciting. It's getting dark. If we do. This is a Tesla Model S Plaid. Oh, baby. See ya, Tesla. <laughs> We just passed the Tesla Model S Plaid. Fastest production car in the world. Well, it can beat the fastest production car of 1954 right here. We passed it. That is cool. The future beats the past. The past passes the future. That's poetic. Rolling into Rome. That's what's happening right now. We're like 20 minutes away from getting to the center of Rome and being able to go right down in the middle. The drivers here are getting aggressive. It's nighttime, the Romans, I don't know what it is. Maybe they just, they don't care for this. They just wanna get to where they wanna go and they don't care that we have all these incredible multi-million dollar cars right here, but it is what it is. Rome, do your thing. So we're gonna go right to the heart of Rome. I think we go past the Colosseum, all these fancy things, and then they have the final stage right at the end. Yeah, I'll try to get some shots. GoPros don't do well at night, so I have this camera, but when I hold it out the window, it gets a little shaky. Rolling into Rome, look at the blue lights over there. What is this place? Are we going through a cemetery? statues. Our card that we worked so incredibly hard on today is now going yeah. to be Thank given the of people. to the checkpoint people and we passed the test. We're super fast and good at driving. Okay. Thank you. I get out of the car right before the finish line. It's madness out here. But we're gonna film our car going across the finish line, but I wanna walk and see it. Look at all these cars. Woo, looking good. Another SL300. This is the one that was in the NASCAR race a long time ago. Good job, guys. I can't believe that the time duration doesn't really match what I felt in the car because it was such a unique experience everywhere that we went. The Mercedes-Benz classic cars are so luxurious, even way back then. That, yeah, they're great. That it's no surprise that I had such a good experience in these, and it's no surprise that when you ride in one of the electric cars today, they're new icons. They're such fantastic cars and so comfortable and everything. 
Maybe I will get back in my car and go across the finish line. It is kind of cool to just walk out here with the cars though. They're just beautiful. This is so good. I decided to get back in the car because they're moving quick now. We're getting to the finish line. Oh, I blew it. I blew it. Now they're letting that line go. Welcome to Rome! We are about to go over the stage. There's lots of people out here hanging out, watching us come in. After the long day, we're coming up on his stage. Red carpet treatment, which is actually kind of like. And we even have a dog celebrating us. Look at that dog. <laughs> Rome is way older than any of these cars, but I will say it looks very, very impressive to see this entire road shut down, except for all these classic cars that are driving down here. It makes me feel like I just stepped back in time, honestly. by the Coliseum with the police escort. The road is shut down and we're in classic cars. <laughs> that was so good. I love moments like that in my videos. I've got to find the fun, the fun moments, and you never know what it's going to be. But when you see it, you just got to capture it and hopefully make it. I just want people to smile when they watch the videos. Yeah, learn something, of course, and see something new, but I want them to be entertained and smile and feel like they're along for the ride and enjoying it. Look at this guy. Woo! We got spaghetti.